Good morning, this is Jilly Bling of JillyBling.com. What do you think about this project? This is using the stamp set Don't Believe. It's in the new holiday mini catalog and it's got some really cute stamps. Obviously that one's adorable. You know it's better to show you on the cards. So here's Santa using the blends to color them in. And I didn't stick everything down. I'll show you why in just a minute. But let me show you all these. Then there's the elf. And the snowman carrying a cup of coffee. And that's only so that these insides, this works. Sadly, Frosty's first hot cocoa turned out to be his last. Isn't that funny? It's cute, but then in some ways it's kind of sad. But that's okay. And then winter cheer. So, um, like I said, I didn't stick down quite a few of these thoroughly just because I wanted to show you how I just cut. I used the same die for the white and the granny apple green. And I cut in the middle and kind of pulled this one up and this one down. And that's what made the little border. And then it also shows how I did the ribbon. You could do it any way you like, but some people, they want to do it just this way, and this will help out. So I'll put that on. It'll probably be pulled up a few times. Then using the blends, colored in the holly. And on the inside, really simple. Again, using the holly. Ooh, it would have been cute if I turned that around. So there's that one. Then of course, of course Frosty. And these are two separate dies, so you don't have to do anything fancy. But in the middle of this, did I leave this kind of hanging up? No. In the middle of this Pacific point is what I cut this little banner out of. And this one, I think I left it a little bit loose. Yeah. Maybe it should be looser. So two separate dies but I just twisted all this blingy stuff around to look like tinsel. And then I used shimmering crystal effects on the little light bulbs. I don't know if you could see that they're kind of raised up. Really cute. And Santa, I use the shimmering crystal effects on here. Um, this shape, once again using the same dye for the white and the real red. This shape was cut right out of the middle and then from the corner going in I just made little slits which is what created this border. And then when I placed that's a little crooked, I'll fix it. Um, I just place this down with adhesive. And then this goes on with dimensionals. And the ribbon, the seam of the ribbon is right here. So I started it here, wrapped it all the way around, and it ended up right there. So there's a little bit of a gap. Don't stop believing. Naughty nice. Santa's list. It's all fun and games until Santa checks the naughty list. Very cute. The glasses have the shimmery stuff on them. Um, Frosty here has these mica flakes. They're old, but it's perfect for this. I'm going to use those today. I'm going to do another wintry card. This, I'm not sure if we'll use that today. Here's the dies. Stamp sets, don't stop believing. Spirited Snowman. This one is an old one. Greetings from Santa, but it works perfect. Nothing better than, and that's just for the cup. And for dyes, I put quite a few in that little container. Tasteful labels. Field tiles, and that was more just for a little word die. And my favorite, Hippo. It has a really a lot of nice dyes in here. More for just um, shapes and words. The little animals are cute too, though. Okay, 
So let's get started. So this one I want to use, this is old ribbon, but it's perfect color, balmy blue. This is going to be for the words. Let's do the words. And you know what, I'm going to do this one, hold on for just a minute. The words, let's do greetings from the North Pole. This is red. Let's do it in memento. Okay, and the die that I'm going to use is this die right here, and it's really narrow. It's a tight fit. It took me about three tries to get it to fit, but keep in mind that the cutting area is in the middle of the die. It's not on the inside edge or the outside. That's the stitched right in the middle as the cutting, so it is possible. So when I was doing it, I ran into the one next to it. Not good, but I did get it pretty well centered. And I tried it again. And I chopped off the top. So one more try. Those are garbage. It's right here. And that turned out just fine. Okay. And then the word pole is kind of an outline, so I feel inclined to color it. So since I'm thinking about it, let's do that now. Just a hint of color. There isn't a Pacific Point blend, but that's okay. I think the word pole, like North Pole, should be in an icy blue color. And balmy blue is perfect. Okay, that one's done. So this one, I want to have it in the Pacific Point. That's inside paper. This one right here. And this one, wait a minute, I think I'm doing that wrong. Hold on, let me start from the bottom. Gosh, I hope I don't frustrate you guys. I confused myself. I do have a plan here. Okay, base paper. Okay, designer paper. Snowflake Splendor. go anyway. It's a random pattern. Okay, so this is going to go... This one I did there. We'll see how it goes. So for the image on this paper, I want... Hold on. I'm still trying to get myself together here. did this yesterday morning. It's too far gone. Okay, so these are going to be for the label on top. Um, and there's so many dies in there, and they all kind of work together. Okay, so I'm going to have it like this. And then out of the middle, here we go, it's going to be this one. And I want to use one of the snowmen. So I've already used this one holding the coffee. How about, and I use that one, I'm going to use this one here. So, here's a snowman. I'm going to stamp them on with Memento on Whisper White. Adorable. So I'm going to color him in and cut him out with my scissors. 
What do you think? It's starting to happen, huh? Oh, he's so cute. Okay, so I'm going to cut these out. Three dies. Okay. So what do we have? That makes the word show up. Oh, that turned out good. This is for Skating Frosty. Should I do it in the middle? That one I did go in that direction. You know what? Let me try something. If I could lift this off. I need that shovel thing that Ruby has. I'm going to put this in the middle if I don't mess it up too bad. I'm messing it up too bad. Okay. Stay with the original plan. So this is going to go here. That I'll put on dimensionals. That I cut out of the middle. This shows through just fine. A skater whisking by. How about I try this way? Ooh, that looks good. Oh, I want to put the ribbon on too. Okay, that's how it's going to be. It's kind of like this one. Nah, the other way. See, I was going to go for having it in the middle. But that's okay. So, this gets put down flat. Oh, I need to put the ribbon on first. It's always something. You know his little scarf blowing in the wind? I wonder if this could be an add-on to the scarf. Yeah, kind of muddies them up a little bit. Okay, so just a knot. Boy, I'm indecisive today, huh? Maybe it's too much coloring. So this goes here. The knot needs to move to maybe more the middle. Okay, maybe more the side. This will be put on here. That looks good. And dimensionals. The big ones probably would have fit just fine. Hindsight. Greetings from the North Pole. Okay. And I'll stick these two together. Because there's a big old hole on this, it's going to go down flat. So I'll get adhesive on there. Hmm. 
sometimes things are just never easy. Okay, and this one could go on with dimensionals. little mini dimensionals on the feet and the hat. Okay, and then how about some of that snow stuff? So, regular glue. And here is my snow. Because it's so chunky, it really doesn't matter where I put this. looking for the more sparkly stuff. It's messy. I'll be finding this stuff for for weeks. Certainly for days. So it's going to stick to anywhere that I have a little bit of glue. Oh, you know, I got a separate paper just cuz I know it's messy. It's very cute. Just skating away through the snow. Okay, I'll clean this little bit up later. Okay, so on to the inside. Greetings from the North Pole. Boy, I didn't pick anything up for the inside yet. Let me see. I think something just simple like Merry Christmas. Oh, I like the snow. Let's do that. The other side was all dry. Ooh. Okay, that's fine. So the snow, I think, I would, I'm going to get balmy. Okay, balmy blue snow.
Looks pretty snowy. Let's see, greetings from the North Pole. Do any of these words work? I think I just want Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. I don't know that the snowman is really saying that. I think he's more saying Merry Christmas. Ooh, there's more snowflakes in this set too. Okay. Okay, so the words, I'm going to put them in Pacific Point, because that's a nice dark color. I want it to show up well. I guess I could do it in black, too. Keep it blue and snowy. Oh, I was going to do just plain Merry Christmas. I like the font on that. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. Very cute. So this is going to be a traveling box. And there's four different varieties in this one box. So let me know if you want it. And traveling boxes, they don't include the envelopes. Like last time, I do include envelopes. So let me know if you'd like this one, and I'll get it delivered to you. Oh, that turned out pretty. That's nice. Oh, I like it. Okay, I hope you have a great day. Bye.